Welcome to another short and sweet where the reviews are short. And it's really sweet that they shared it with us. It's really sweet that Michter's Distillery shared their Michter's 10 year bourbon mm. 2024 style with us because this guy is just really been showing up. Yeah, I mean, I don't think I've ever had a Michter's 10 release that I was not very pleased with. Yeah. Um, and you know, it comes with a price point where I do expect that, but it delivers. And that's, we'll see if this year's maintains, mm, you know? Mm -hmm. Now, 2022, if you remember, there was no Michter's 10 bourbon because it wasn't quite there. And, uh, you know, the, the Michter's team was like, hey, let's, well, they went to Joe Magliocco and they're like, mm -hmm. we need to hold off on this for another year. And he's like, I trust you guys, do what you need to do. So no Michter's 10 year bourbon in 2022, mm -hmm. but it came back last year. And here it is again at 94.4 proof. 94.4. And $185 MSRP. Yeah. SRP, whatever you want to call it. Minimum of 10 years. <sighs> Fruity. Oh. Fruity and old, like vintage -y, Yeah, a little bit of vintage funk with some... Just ripe fruit. And... Syrup, a little bit of... Yeah, very like brown sugar, molasses notes. Confectionery sugar. I definitely get like a molasses. Color. And a little bit of pepper. The color, Duke, the color. Color is nice. And for, you know, a lower proof. Oh, this smells... Sub 100 <sighs> proof, that is. Mmm. <laughs> mmm. Yeah, that's I mean, I nose. could just sit with this one. Uh -huh. for a long time. Oh. And again, yeah, the nose being such, um, having such character at a sub 100 proof. Yeah. Proof isn't everything, but you know, it is diluted. So this mm -hmm. is maintaining a lot of, I love that. a lot of nose notes for that. All so. right, to your health. <laughs> mm -hmm. That fruit that was on the nose. And that might be. It's on there on the, right there on the palate. I mean, I'd have to have them, more of them. Juicy. Back to back to back. That might be the best Mictor's 10 I've had. Strong words, Sarah. Yeah. All right, Sarah, well, let's uh, take a little break. And while we do, I want to tell you about our home on the internet. It's whiskeyambitions.com. It's where you can get uh, the rye or dye t-shirt that I'm wearing hats. Uh, all of our glassware, Glenn Karen's, rocks glasses, and Copita's bottle cut candles, our new elemental elixir cocktail syrup, and more always coming soon at whiskeyambitions.com. And you can become a, patri a Patreon, a patron at patreon.com slash it's and join our community for as little as one buck a month for discounts on that merch, barrel pick exclusives after the episode content, bonus content, and more. And that is <clears throat> really good. Yeah. And I don't, <laughs> sometimes I don't want to like, um, you know, mm, how to say this. When people send things, I don't always want to like them because I want to oh. maintain, the, <clears throat> you know, that there is trust and that we're not sure. easily won over with. But it is Mixture's 10. Yes, but it's Mixture's 10. <laughs> and it, I already expected it to be good, like we said before. I haven't had a, one that I didn't enjoy. Well, what we do to um, <clears throat> quell that, or however you want to say it, is we take things that we find exceptional throughout the year and we put it in our blind best of the year contention at the end of the year where we don't know that someone sent it to us. We don't know the pedigree that it has behind it. It's just a bourbon that we're pouring in our glass and we're rating it. Oh, that's true. Yeah, sorry. So. <laughs> I don't know, I thought I thought of something, but we'll get back to it in a minute. Oh, no, it's fine, I was done. <sighs> the finish on this, th this drink's higher than 94.4 proof, I'll tell you that much. But a in a very of, good way. In not a very in like good a way, not way. in a hot way. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It has a lot of rich oak. Again, those like eight more aged notes, a um, little bit of leather, a molasses sugar, a little bit of fruit, tiny bit of spice. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <sighs> this one is, <clears throat> whew. I think this, you know, it, it, it is kind of hard to, find um, it, it is more of a limited release and what I would kind of qualify as an LE because it you know does come out once a year but when you have those people who will you know write in or ask or whatever comment and say I need an exceptional bourbon around $200 for a gift graduation whatever the special occasion what do you recommend and that's not like a big laundry list of uh, things mm -mm. but I would always I would put, put this, that on there. yeah, on yeah. there. Like that is, it's one hundred eighty-five dollars MSRP, as we said. Which but is a lot. I feel like in this world of you know one ninety-nine mm. uh, special releases, regular, and, or yeah. even just not even special releases, just releases and more and up. Uh, I feel like this holds its own. And as you said, ten is the youngest in here. Mm -hmm. We know that from last year that it was definitely older stuff. Yeah, ten is the youngest. Uh, yeah. I, it, I don't know what was blended in here, but it tastes like there's something older than that mm -hmm. in here. Um, it's very good. 
And again, like at that price point, I don't always want to yeah. like things because it is, it's a lot of money, you know? Yeah. Like we're talking the super premium bourbon category and, but it's really good, it delivers. <laughs> um, yeah. If you, if you bought this, I think, I think you would be very happy with it. Agreed. Um, I think it would be one of your favorite bottles of the year as well. Yeah. So there's that. There's that. Well, hey, that's where we better leave it. If you haven't subscribed to us already, you can do so by clicking right up here. There's suggestions of other videos down here. Hope to see you over there in one of those. Thanks, Sarah. Thanks, Chad. Thank you, Mictors. Until next time, drink more bourbon.